and salutations book lovers my name is Samantha and today we are going book shopping friends and it is very exciting I'm excited I hope you're excited I was just scrolling through Instagram and I saw the notification that one of my favorite bookstores has reopened and I just am so delighted by that how is this any different from a haul you say it's not I'm throwing in a little video of me at the bookstore and I'm titling this come book shopping with me and pretending it's different from the haul but really this is just me buying a ton of books again are we getting bored of this probably I have actually taken you guys to this bookstore before they have amazing prices this is where I get all of like my mass market paperbacks I have been doing a lot of eBay book outlet thrift books book hauls because I mean that's really th that's all that's been available since bookstores haven't been open but normally I prefer to go to this specific bookstores because the deals are amazing it's one dollar for paperback two dollars for hardback I took you guys to the bookstore with me I filmed a little clip of the historical romance section because it is glorious it is just shelves and shelves and stacks of books and it makes my heart so happy I'm gonna stop labbing and I'm going to cut to the footage of me in the bookstore and I think I like chatted in the car afterwards. Well, I'll show you guys. You'll see. You'll see. gosh the lighting is probably so so not good <laughs> sorry if I feel like I'm screaming at you it's just in the steering wheel okay this could really be a better angle Samantha but we ain't professional up in here um we did it guys we went book shopping I swear it was like therapeutic so good I did wear a mask by the way I just took it off because it's really 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 hot I didn't take it off in the store I took it off when I got in the car I kind of like blacked out like I saw the bookstore sign and just squealed with excitement found so many books and I didn't really film that much and I bought way 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 too many books like honestly I came in for like maybe 10 books I brought one bag with me because I was like I'm only gonna get like five or ten books I really just want the experience no girl I got like 30 something books let me let me let me show you the bags okay, excuse my messy car but that is one bag right there and then over here we have another two bags full of books oh my gosh my car is so messy I need to get it detailed apologies three bags full of books I'm a weak weak person I just guys I really was so excited and I swear I blacked out a little bit like I had just this sense of overwhelming excitement and just joy which sounds so silly but it was it was really nice and I really want to show you guys all the books but it's a lot and I probably should get going home get going home I should probably go home because the security guard over there is like staring at me as I talk in my car hey hi how you doing um and I can't like do a full on book haul in my car. So I will talk to you guys when I'm back home. God, it's so exciting. So yeah, that was me at the bookstore. Can you see? I was like a little kid in a candy shop. I was just so happy. And now I have that song stuck in my head. Welcome to my candy store. <laughs> That's from Heather's, right? I think so. Let's just jump right into the books. I have two embarrassing things that I need to admit. One. I bought way too many books as usual as I was getting ready I was like oh I only need one bag one bag is fine I'm only gonna grab like five books <laughs> that was a joke I bought like 30 books and then the second thing is, is I actually went book shopping hours ago and then I just like totally forgot and didn't film the portion of me showing you guys the books so I had to like put on some makeup again and here we are so the first book I want to talk about it has a story with it I'm so the first book I want to talk about it has a story with it this is the mermaid chair by Sue Monk Kidd now this is definitely not a book that I would pick up 
on my own. I've never read anything from Sue Monk Kid, and the reason I picked this up is because one of my favorite Instagrammers, and oh my gosh, her Instagram handle is like leaving my brain. I, Lindsay, her name is Lindsay. I will put her Instagram handle on the screen. I'm so sorry my brain is like blanking. She did the most hilarious Instagram story where she met someone as she was walking in her neighborhood and someone was reading a book and they were reading a Sumunk Kid and they started talking and the lady had asked her, oh, have you ever read Sumunk Kid? Have you read this book? And Lindsay automatically replied yes and they started talking about that book. Turns out she panicked. She had never read that book and now she feels guilty and she had to read the book. And there's a whole story. I'm going to link her Instagram page down below because you need to watch her Instagram stories. They are hilarious. They're hilarious. So as I was in the bookstore, I saw Sumant Kid on the shelves and I was like, I have to pick it up. Obviously. I don't even know what this book is about. Let's see. Vividly imagine love story between a woman and a monk, a woman and her husband, and ultimately a woman and her own soul. Is it all the same woman or is it three different stories? A monk? Okay. I mean, that's pretty interesting. Okay. I have been saying in practically every video that I'm going to do a Johanna Lindsay video. I'm going to do it. I've never read any Johanna Lindsay. I'm ashamed. I know I need to fix that. And I'm actually filming a video right now reading some of her books, which hopefully will be up soon. I picked up a ton of Johanna Lindsay because they have just such an amazing collection. I have some of these books, but I don't have these covers or the ones with Step Back. The first one is by Johanna Lindsay, as I said. This is A Loving Scoundrel. This is from her Mallory novel series. And I picked this one up because the Step Back is beautiful. That light blue cover can it get any better? It really can't. Next, this book is a little beat up, but I just loved the cover so much. This is Silver Angel. Looks like that. We have another Mallory novel series. I think this is one of her most popular series, and she has like a ton in the series. There's something like 14 plus books. I have no idea. This is like the eighth book, I think. I'm not even sure. Oh, this step back is glorious. I forgot about that. Like, look at that step back. Are you kidding me? Is he a pirate? Is he a Viking? Who knows? We'll find out. And the condition is actually really amazing. There's no cracks in the spine. So that was a score. Next, we have another step back. This is Love Me Forever. And oh, he must be like a Scottishman. His flaming locks of red hair are just divine, darling. Just divine. I don't know what that accent was. Don't judge me. But that's what the step back looks like. I don't know the synopsis of these books because I just grabbed them without really thinking. I have a problem. Next we have A Man to Call My Own. Is this a Western? Has a step back. It is a Western. Oh man, that step back is steamy. I mean, I can never say no to a step back. That's my thing. I will always buy historical romance with a step back. They're my favorites. This one, okay, this one actually I had a purpose for and I was hoping to find it at this bookstore. This is Gentle Rogue by Johanna Lindsay. When I asked you guys what your favorite Johanna Lindsay was, almost everyone said Gentle Rogue. Like that, everyone said that this was their favorite. So I needed to read this. I believe this is also part of the Mallory novel series. I think it's like the third book. I normally don't read series in out of order. I like to read them as they were written and intended to be read. But a lot of people tell me you don't have to read them in order. So I'm gonna listen to you guys. Okay, this next one is also a little beat up, but I mean, I've never even seen this book before. This is Warriors Women. What is happening on this cover? It looks like so majestic. Is this like a time travel romance? In the year 2139, fearless, yeah, yeah, okay. A passion that could conquer galaxies. Yeah, that's what is going on in the background. Galaxies. <gasps> How exciting. Okay. Okay. We need to read this. I don't think I've ever read like a time travel galaxy romance before. That could be very interesting. I have Love Only Once. And this is another one I've never seen before. So beautiful. When was this published? It looks like an absolute classic. I wonder, when were you published? 1986. Okay, we're into it. We are into you. Two more Johanna Lindsay's. 
This one is Paradise Wild. This is like a shorter book. It's only, oh no, it's 300 pages. It just has really small writing. The pages are not that big. Anyways, this is Paradise Wild from Miss Johanna Lindsay. Very excited for this. Have no idea what it's about. <laughs> And then lastly, we have another Mallory novel. I'm telling you guys, this series is forever long. And this is The Devil Who Tamed Her. And we do have a step back with this one. Get into it. A couple Judith McNaughts. This is Remember When. I don't think this is a historical romance. I think it's just in a mass market paperback. Yeah, I don't think this is a historical romance. I think it's like modern day. But, I mean... We'll read it. Then we have Until You. This is a historical romance that takes place in London, my favorite. Last Judith McNaught we got was Paradise. That's what this looks like. So it's a chunky book. This page, how many pages is it? Oh my goodness, it's 701 pages. Are these two books combined? Because that's a lot. Huh. That's a chunky, that's a chunky book. So might take a while to get through that one. I have two Kathleen E. Woodwest books. I purchased one by her recently. It was like The Wolf and the Dove or something like that. And everyone always raves about that book. So I picked up two more by the author. This is The Flame and the Flower. I think this is part of the series of the book that I bought. I hope it is. And then we also got So Worthy, My Love beautiful just stunning okay so the rest of the books I don't really have like a rhyme or reason some of these authors I've never heard of before most of them I just grabbed because the covers are stunning so we're gonna fly through this first up we have the Duke buys a bride by Sophia Jordan that's what that looks like uh, Laura Lee Girk. I've actually heard quite a bit about this author. I've never read anything from her. This is Wedding of the Season. This one's a little bit of a shorter one, so hopefully we can get to that soon. Two Lorene Heath books. This is A Rogue in Texas. I'm trying to get more into westerns because they're also fabulous, but I haven't read nearly enough. I feel like I talk about histor historical romance so much, but I'm really a historical romance newbie. I just started reading it this year. Before I re read mainly like contemporary romance, I would read fantasy romance, but historical romance has just been like an entirely new world for me, and it's amazing. Like, what have I been doing about the rest of my life? Next book, we have When a Duke Loves a Woman. This is what the cover looks like. It's purple. I feel like we don't have a lot of purple historical romances. And this, I mean, this girl just looks fabulous in her dress. Hey, Sabrina Jeffries. I don't know what my obsession with Sabrina Jeffries is. I have actually never read a book from her. But every time I see one of her books, I grab them. Something about, like... Her covers and her synopsis just like intrigue me. The first one is The Secret of Flirting and this is part of the Sinful Suitor series. I think this was the only book in the series that I was missing. We also have By Love Unveiled. Sabrina Jeffries writing as Deborah Martin? What? Is that like her other pen name? Sabrina Jeffries brings back a splendid historical romance long out of print that she penned as Deborah Martin. Oh, okay. So she used to write under the name Deborah Martin. Now she writes under the name Sabrina Jeffries and she revived one of her old books. Oh my gosh, now I'm gonna have to look up Deborah Martin and get those books too. Okay, interesting. We learn something new every day, guys. This one I picked up strictly because of the step back. This is by Kathy Maywell and it's called A Scandalous Marriage. Scandalous. You know I love that word. I love when it has like the little detailing right there. That's my favorite. So this one is a two page step back, which we always love. Next one is Almost a Bride by Jane Feather. This one was another one that I really just love the cover. This is by Beatrice Small and it's called Deceived. This one I loved because the heart and the gold detailing and the letters are slightly raised and it's just, it's really beautiful. There's no cracks in the spine. I, I had to have it. I had to have it. Oh, we have another. Oh, we have two more Jane Feathers. I don't remember picking up m more than one, but here we are. This is Venus. That's what that looks like. The last thing Lord Nicholas expected to see in the gloom of a London tavern was a vision 
of loveliness. Okay. All right. You go, St. Nicholas, or Lord Nicholas. Lord Nicholas. Yeah, he ain't no saint. I could tell you that. I haven't read this book, but I bet he's not a saint. Okay. The last Jane Feather that we got is The Bride Hunts. I know I have one other Jane Feather. I think it was like a short novella that she did called like a Valentine's Wedding or something like that. So I probably just recognized her name and grabbed a couple books. Next up, we have a Stephanie Lawrence who I know is super popular. This one is called On a Wicked Dawn. Man's a quick. Okay, so here's a story. I feel like I have talked about Amanda Quick on my channel before, but I haven't read anything from her. Everyone talks about her, and she's lovely and wonderful, historical romance queen, right? But she writes a lot of romantic suspense, and I don't really, I'm a scared cat. I don't want to be scared. I don't want to feel like one of our characters is going to die. So I don't know what to read from her. So I grabbed this book because it looked interesting, and it was blue. And yeah, so this is Mischief by Amanda Quick. This one looked fabulous. This is The Husband Test by Bettina Cram. That's what that one looks like right there. Is The Hazards of Hunting a Duke. It's a Julia London with a step bag. This is a hazy step bag. It's like slightly blurry. Okay, all right. There we go. Oh my gosh, I should have showed this book in the beginning because this one was so exciting. I saw it at the checkout and I was like, in my bag, I need to have it. Give it to me. This is Brazen and the Beast by Sarah McLean. This is a really new release, I think. Let's see when this was released. This honestly looks brand spanking new. There's no cracks in the spine. Like, honestly, it doesn't even look like anyone's even read this. When was this released? 2019. So it was just released last year. And, guys, we only got this book for $2. That's the step back if you guys were curious. I have read Sarah McLean before. I just haven't read this series. And I think this is her more popular series. But I read... Oh, gosh. What is that book? It's like Counting by Numbers or something like that. It's Nine Ways... What? What is a series? The book I'm reading is the third book in the series. I'm literally reading it right now. It's 11 Scandals. Oh my gosh. I'm getting the titles confused. I read them. They were lovely. I listened to them all in audiobook. I will put them on the screen. Wow, my brain is really not working because it is so late. But that's why I picked that up because I do actually really like Sarah McLean's writing. Next up, we have a Highlander romance. This is Wicked Highland Ways by Mary Wine what that looks like and this is another one that is in pristine condition we have a book by susan johnson this is silver flame that's what that looks like it's purple again love purple books the camera cut off i have no idea where i left off and that's just proof that i have been talking for way 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 too long it's funny how i can talk so much about these books when i don't know like a single synopsis like get it together samantha what kind of booktuber are you i don't think that I had a lot of books left so we're just gonna fly through them. It's by Laura Lee Girk. This is When the Marquess Met His Match. Looks like that and this is probably oh, so good. This is probably one of my favorite stuff because I just love everything about it. This is a book by Laura Kinzel. This is Lessons in French and Miss Lisa Kleypas blurbed it. She says Laura Kinzel creates magic and Lisa Kleypas is magic. Her words and her writing are magnifique so anything she says is great i will believe her and that's why i picked up this book so we have two more books and we saved the best for last because these both have step backs the first one is no other woman by shannon drake it looks like that i believe this is like a scottish romance because we have a naked man in the front living his best life in his kilt you know you know prime step back right here and lastly look at this beaut she's magnifique this is too Deep for Tears by Katherine Lynn Davis. I have no idea what this is about, but I mean, could you say no to this cover? It is stunning. Like, look how pretty it is. And then this is the step back. It has three lovely women in the front. These pages are so yellow. I have no idea what this book is about, but I needed it because of the beautiful cover. I don't know if I'm actually going to get to that soon, but I mean... How lovely it is to have on my shelves. This video is all over the place. I'm gonna post it anyways. I hope you guys like this more like chill, hang out with me, come book shopping with me video. Just something to like lift my spirits 
during these times. I hope you guys are all staying happy and healthy. I know I say that at the end of my videos, but I really do mean it. It's not just something I say. I love you guys. Okay, we're getting in like this rant's weird place. We're getting in a weird, weird place. I'm going to close this out. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to spend time with me. It means the world to me. And I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye! Whew, that video was so long. I am not looking forward to edit this. I do not want to edit this. Or organize my bookshelves because like look at this mess behind me. I just have stacks and stacks of historical romance. Like I really did not need to go book shopping. I have no room on these bookshelves, honestly. Like I don't like to double stack my books. But I have to now because I just I don't have any room. Where am I gonna put things? These are my first world problems. Okay, I really need to go. Bye, guys.